Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Oh, good morning. Welcome to Seaforth Village Community Centre, which is the home of Seven Mile Venture Lab, uh, which is where we're based here in the, in the community centre. We have just down the corridor, we have a co-work space. So these are all people who are entrepreneurs, they're startups, they're, they're starting a new business and they want to be part of a community. And I can tell you, Seven Mile Venture Lab has a fantastic community, a, a really great community of supportive people. Uh, this event is happening because, it's really happening because of Anne McEwen, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and the backstory is, and I think it was actually a Saturday morning, my phone rang, and of course I see this Anne, who's been in our community for over, well over a year. So I answer the phone and it's like, I've just found this grant and we should apply for it, you know, to, uh, to empower and seven miles, we should do this together. It was a Saturday morning and honestly, I'd done a few grants in the previous months and I was granted out. I just like, <laughs> oh, and she said, no, no, it's not difficult. I've had a look, we should do it. So it's okay, she's very persuasive as you will discover <laughs> during the course of today. So <laughs> we collaborated on our grant application and it was uh, from the New South Wales Government, New South Wales Department of Communities and Justice. So that is why we're here today. Certainly the instigator was Anne and together we applied. And so we thank the New South Wales Government, James, and that's one of the reasons you're okay. here today representing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Greg. Well, good morning, ladies. And uh, of course, Anne, uh, who I've known for a couple of three, I was just commenting earlier, um, three and a half years ago now that I first met Anne at one of her networking events, um, not far from here in Manly Vale. Um, and it's four years as the Member of Parliament for Manly this March. So um, every day it's, it's a real privilege to do the job and, and I love it. Um, and of course, this week we're celebrating International Women's Day. Um, and, uh, and we're in a week of, of wonderful events and activities um, across the state and across, uh, across Australia and the world indeed. So um, I'm really proud to, to be here to support Greg and, and Anne um, with, with what will be a, a wonderful day. Today I think will be fantastic um, and as a wonderful job. It is, it is really uh, wonderful to see um, so many people here. Um, I'm really f uh, delighted that it's, it's basically sold out, which is, is wonderful. Um, I hope you take away a lot. Knowing Anne, I, I'm sure you will. Um, and uh, it, it, with, with that, I think I'll, I'll hand over to you, Anne or, or Greg, I'll to, just to sort of first and I'll introduce Anne. Thank you, yeah. James. So very thank much. you very much for coming along. <coughs> thank you. Now, about Anne McEwen, who I've known for about 18 months now, and I just think Anne is just the most impressive person, to be honest. Uh, as a mindset coach, Anne empowers women to step up, speak up, show up with confidence in all areas of life. Combining her experience and expertise with NLP techniques, neuro-linguistic programming, you would know, Anne has created a step-by-step -step process for success that shows you how to reignite the spark in your life and work so you feel happier, confident, and more successful every day. In addition to being a published author and founder of the Sydney Women's Self-Empowerment Meetup, with currently over 600 members, Anne has worked in corporate, higher education and the voluntary sector before starting her coaching business in 2015. Anne's main driver is to be a positive role model for her daughters, Morris and Megan, who are the two M's in To Empower. <laughs> so isn't that a great story? And I know you're gonna have a, an absolutely wonderful day. And uh, thank you very much, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. All yours, Anne. Our safety, let's say this is, I'm just going to use the same people, but this is our safety zone, right? And we're all in here and we're comfortable. Do you know what? Listening to everybody this morning and from my own experience, this is the most uncomfortable place to be. When I looked in the box, it wasn't what I expected to see. And uh, what I saw is not how I feel on the inside. I saw somebody who looks tired, somebody who does look drawn, but on the inside, I don't feel that way. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah. I, I look 
forward uh, to this whole uh, workshop by Anne because uh, I know Anne uh, as uh, a wonderful person who motivates and inspire. So there's always opportunities to learn something new, something invigorating. And also she has this objective about creating a women's community where we can support each other. And certainly she has kind of like uh, totally uh, excelled in that. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sumita and um, I am here uh, basically to un unlearn, uh, uh, which means that uh, whatever we have been taught as women, you know, in our childhood, especially being from an <coughs> Asian background, uh, that, uh, you know, women needs to step back and women needs to keep, be quiet, be, speak softly. So I'm here to unlearn and empower and also help a lot of other women um, uh, help them to step up and speak up uh, and I'm already getting a lot of it uh, uh, the energy is really really great and uh, it's amazing to s be connected uh, to all and I'm also kind of like looking forward to going out of the zoom mode <laughs> which we have been working for uh, an year from home so yes it's great to s meet people in person and connect with them Thank you. Hi, my name is Linda Petroni. Um, I came uh, across this seminar and I just did the title alone sort of um, made me feel like that I was going to get something from it. But um, I've always looked for opportunities to continue to learn. And I think um, coming here today, I really feeling like I've been inspired by the other women that have participated. But you know, in, in simple terms, I guess there's an opportunity for all of us to continue to grow. And um, I've been doing some coaching with Anne and the success of my business, um, I can truly say, has been a direct result of doing coaching with Anne at To Empower. My name's Connie Mastriani. What would you like to know? <laughs> what are the takeaways of the seminar, for example? Oh. The takeaways of the seminar today, I would say, is that to live your true self and um, to create your own destiny. And I think that's what we all need to do, is by living what we really feel inside and visualising what we want and what we dream and um, have some steps along the way. So look at where we're at, see where we want to be and believe that we're going to get there. Hi, my name's Karina, and I came to this workshop with no expectations whatsoever, but so far it's blown me away. I think it's so empowering for women to actually have self-confidence and be part of this. The fact that you should actually find a network of people that believe in you and that you can rely on is also empowering. So this workshop today has been extremely beneficial and I'm extremely grateful, especially to the Northern Council's um, who's actually put this on. So thank you. I'm Jo and I thoroughly joined today with Anne. It's really great. My take home today is to step outside of my comfort zone, to not give up, to be persistent because my dreams can become a reality. Hello, my name's Elizabeth and I've been really, really looking forward to coming to this event. I'm finding it so empowering listening to all these different ladies and the input that they're all giving is very inspiring and most encouraging and we're all here to try to improve our lives and um, make life more meaningful for everyone that we come in contact with. So thank you. Hi, my name is Karen. I've had the pleasure of hearing Anne speak a number of times and today was absolutely empowering. My takeaway for today is that Anne has given me some strategies to implement in my life to help me focus on what's important in life and my business, particularly during these trying COVID times. Thank you, Anne. Always a pleasure to consider you as a great friend. Thank you.